I was hoping, man, there's chance, it's fifty percent chance that the tank fight might be off. I I was nervous because that was a big weekend for us. Shout out to our boy down at Red Hour Boxing. They had something set up. Yeah. That was the thing I was when it when I heard the thing, I'm like, damn. I'm a little I'm I'm actually a little frustrated at myself. What you do? Because I should have known that this wasn't going to be the date. It seems to me like every time he announces a date, that that first date or that really? first that first city isn't really me. isn't it. I remember it happened before. Yeah. Where yeah, I remember we was like locked in. Yeah. And then it kind of got. I feel like this. There's no tanks gonna fight in Vegas. Yeah. It, yeah. It feels He's like a new he, Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. It's, it doesn't make sense for him. Well, I mean, it makes sense for him to fight other other cities. I actually like that. Mm -hmm. But he's what you would consider a Vegas fighter. Yeah, and once you and and if you, you think about me, I always think about money. I'd rather fight in Vegas because of the taxes. We started that too. State tax. You, hey, we you start, fought in Vegas. How many times you fought? Two. Just t three times. Just three, three times. Yeah, yeah, I forgot the last one. Damn, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Just three times. But listen, uh, and I play off of football. The good part about him going to different cities is he has an opportunity to reach That's why I was looking forward to it, Sean. A different market. You know I had my cousins pulling up. You remember they, they was hyped. You know what I mean? I was like, yeah. They know everybody, if you don't know box, you know Tank. So they was hyped. They was pulling up. So, and you go where Tank go. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was, I was hoping to pull it off. And you know, never know. 50-50 right now. I yeah. think it's up in the air. So what you I think? Feel, I feel like it, it, it doesn't happen. It's coming to Vegas? Now listen, uh, Leonard, Leonard Ellaby said that he was going to fight before the end of the year. Okay. So he got to the 31st of December to, to jump off. 31st of December. I got a feeling he's not going to fight before the end of the yeah, year. I don't, yeah, I don't. If it don't fight in Houston, it's off. Yeah. I, yeah. Feel, I got a feeling he's not fighting at the end of the year. But, uh, I mean, the other rumor is... And he should be fighting, again, Tim Zhu fought Man. five times in one year. Ain't no... And, and, and it's like I say... When you have a fight that goes, it's a short fight. Remember, um, Deontay Wilder knocked out the 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 Nordic Nightmare. Yeah. I, and I think that fight was in it February. Sounded like get back in the ring. You next need week. to be back in the ring next it's week. Week spar by June at the latest. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't, especially when you have a short work night. You got to capitalize on that. Beyond that, you need to get back in the ring so people can see you. Beyond that, you need to keep your your your, your stuff going right. You know what I mean? Get some rounds in. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't no round, but uh, yeah, I don't know. If I was a boxer, you know, y'all go through a lot, so I I never know, but. I would try to cluster many fights as possible, especially if I'm a cash cow like that. Boom! The next two years it's gonna be we're gonna max we're gonna do at least three fights a year. Yeah, and I'm out. Yeah, I once heard. I get to that point, bro, it's no, I'm not. I always think about the health of it. You know, I always wanted you. I didn't. People always get you. You said your boy retired. No, because yeah. I know the the end of it. Yeah. So it was just like if I'm at that level, hey, if next three years we're gonna I'm gonna give y'all three fights. Yeah. Um, For the, that's I, nine fights. I I saw a report that he was he wasn't gonna fight like yeah, into his mid thirties. Yeah, like I, said, I heard, yeah. I saw something where it was like, you know, like thirty five or something like that was when he intends yeah. intends to retire. You know, and it's like if you like me, you race into the finish line. Yeah. Get as many as you can as you can as long as you healthy and things of that nature. Just, just keep it moving. You know what I mean? Yeah, so keep, keep lining them up. I keep knocking them out. I begged Leonard to get him back in the ring for the end of the year, didn't I? Gonna, yeah. Call Leonard. See if, what Leonard can do. Come on now. We need you for the end of the year, boss. If you, it got to be Lamont. You He's kind of the pulse of boxing. Yes. He's yeah. like the pulse of boxing. I mean, from from the culture. But then you don't forget Canelo. You got to put some respect on Canelo, too. Yeah. You have to. There's a... there's. How do you say this? The separation with Canelo Alvarez... And Tank Davis, for me, mm -hmm. it seems to that keyword culture mm -hmm. where Mexicans, for the sake of words, Mexicans are born into the culture of boxing. Mm -hmm. Americans, black Americans, Americans in general are born into other sports, but not necessarily born into boxing. Yeah. You still see it where Philly is born into boxing. You still see it DC, Baltimore, well, Mexicans also born into soccer. boxing. I mean, they got options, but 
But my the difference though is like you have as Puerto Ricans like born yeah. into boxing, born into b baseball. You know what I mean? Like there's specific sports that we just kind of are gravitate towards. Mm -hmm. And and it seems you know obviously we know the NBA and the NFL kind of move the needle. Mm -hmm. But when this young man is in the ring, it seems like the the black culture, the culture of hip hop, hip hop. Yeah. You know the culture of. Of of America for the sake yeah. of words, you know what I mean? Like he could be, you know, or is, in my personal opinion, like the American fight, like the guy that that pulses for he, boxing. He took he took Floyd's spot. Yeah, it was perfect, and he was like, because it was like Floyd's hyping him up, but he was able to live up to the hype. He came in there, skirt, took his spot. That's that's on me now, <laughs> Playboy. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, he, he's holding it down. The uh, funny thing about it is, mm -hmm. it's like Tank, or I'm sorry, it's like Mayweather put his arm around Tank when Tank was receptive mm -hmm. to that. Yeah. When Tank was not mature enough it's to handle it, it's handle yeah. everything <laughs> himself and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And it's like, as, as he started to mature, we could see this small division starting to happen. Mm -hmm. We could see this small, we could hear about the, the small frictions that they were having. And it's like... And now it's like it doesn't matter where Floyd is at, he he on his own too now. You and know it, what I mean? What's crazy? I hate that it got to this point where Floyd hates on him, and every week yeah. he has. Do you know when he have fights? Floyd always posts that the fight fight got canceled. Uh uh, no, no, no. it happens. Uh uh, no, I never do uh, that. I'm, I'm pretty sure other people seen it. Have you seen that before? Wait, we got the fight. Floyd posts that the fight is canceled for hey, take. That, yeah. He's done that a few times. I tell people just I, and people DM me. I'm like, bro, it's not real. It, it's we're good, but I uh -huh. promise you, we're good. 